Tending to my sister Emily is a taxing job. It's been perhaps three years since she's become too infirm to leave the house. I'm afraid I'm often the only company she can enjoy anymore while our mom works. She used to love spending days in the park so much, I'm always heartbroken to deny her such things. I love writing, but I'm running out of artistic inspiration. Inspiration comes from life experience. You will find it. Hey, Emily, looks good. Catch you later. Her face, once lovely, is now thin and gone from sickness. The strain of speaking leaves her words with a faulting, whisper-like quality. When I take her pulse in the morning, her wrist feels as if they are frozen from the cold. I must always keep her smothered in blankets, or else she will shiver until her teeth chatter. Emily gets so lonely that I've even arranged for friends of mine to come by and be her dates. Hey, Emily. Hi. How are you doing? They can't leave the house together, naturally, but I believe she really enjoys talking to someone new now and again. That can be terrible with conversations sometimes, and I know how much she loves to debate. I love my sister dearly, which is why I take such excellent care of her. She never would doubt for a moment my conviction to her happiness, and I know in my heart she appreciates my sacrifice. Someday, when she's feeling grateful, so grateful that nothing in the world could upset her, I'll admit I've been poisoning her the whole time. <laughs>